Hello everyone. Today I would like to introduce our uh, brand new battery. It's a forty-one point two voltage with one hundred ampere, and the maximum uh, support fifteen batteries in parallel. So, first step we introduce about the connection of the wires. So, uh, before any connecting of the wire, we should make sure that all of the battery is in off module. Here we need to close the inverter also. Okay, so be before, connecting to, before connecting the battery, first of all, uh, we can make sure, you know, this is the positive one and this is negative. So this, uh, okay, you can maybe take out this one take out this one so here it shows how to make the parallel in uh, connection so battery one battery two and battery three for this three battery it's positive to positive positive to positive uh, negative to negative so just connect uh, one by one and we just leave the last two portion free and uh, here is here is the important uh, way that for example we, we have rs4851 and rs4852 so the first line contact with rs4851 and this this line should contact the second battery RS uh, 4852 and then same way one connect two so this this parallel communication line is very important for example you cannot do something like that then it then it will, will not work the right way is like this to make sure the battery can communicate and and this battery we so we don't need side the drives for each battery it's uh, indicated automatically so the first the first line who contact rs4851 is the hosting battery all of the the uh, the inverter should contact with this battery Okay, so like this, we finish the contention of the battery in parallel. And second step, we can contact the uh, battery with the inverter. It's very important to make sure you know black uh, negative to negative and positive to positive. So this is the hosting. The first machine is the hosting machine, and. Uh, this, where is the communication uh, where, and we should go to here. For example, this is the in parallel, and, uh, and this is the communication. So this line goes to here. Then, for here, uh, go, when we go to the inverter, so the yellow line contact with, BMS communication and BMS we have two two types of communication way first is a five or four eight five second one is can so to make sure this yellow line go to this way the inverter uh, the inverter indicated the BMS and then these two power positive negative contact with positive and negative. So this step is very, very important. If we make a wrong way, it can damage the inverter. Okay, so by far we finished the connection of the, uh, with the battery and the, uh, the inverter. And okay, the last step, make sure our screen contact with RG for uh, uh, five, uh, four, five. Let's go to this position. And then this inverter can, now uh, this screen can read the information about 
the story battery. Okay, so back from we finished the connection of all the wire working. Uh, next step, double check this way to the inverter to make sure no problem for that. And then we can uh, turn on the battery. Okay, we do one by one. One. Okay, all of the story battery. You can go here. All of the story battery is now uh, turned on. And you can see all of the the light, the running. It shows it running. Okay, and then we can go check the screen. So on the screen, uh, we show different information. For example, this. This voltage, it shows the average voltage of the three battery. So because uh, the nominate is 51.2 and here it shows uh, 53.2, okay? And uh, then this shows the total capacity of the three battery. So for each one, we are 100 and totally nominate uh, 300 when it's fully charged. So now it's only 75% of, uh, sorry, 75% of SOC, so the total capacity is 230. And this one shows the current. Current means, you know, for example, if it's uh, discharging, it's minus. And if it's charging the battery, it shows, uh, you know, the plus. And here it shows the total cycle of the battery because this is brand new, so it's number one. And this is the temperature of the, it's, it also shows the temperature, uh, the, the average temperature of the battery. And here is all of the alarms. Currently it's all of the things are in green. So it means the status is in normal status. And when something wrong, it can go to warning. And even worse, if you don't take care, it goes to red, which means protection. And after one or two minutes, when the protection works, in some situation, it can go back directly. For example, if it's over heat or over current, it can come back automatically. But if some, you know, some hardware uh, problems, uh, we can contact, you can contact us. Uh, and all of these uh, information are, are shown in the, in the menu. Uh, and here, more you can see battery one information. For example, this by the, the first battery is uh, fifty three point one two voltage, and for the first battery is ninety four ampere hour, uh, and this is the maximum voltage of the each cell. You know that that totally 16, 16 cells. Uh, this is maximum voltage. This is minimum voltage, and this there are four temperature uh, sensor to contact the ins, uh, inside the um, uh, inside the battery cell. So this is the maximum one, and this is the minimum one. There are there are totally six temperature sensor. Four to check the battery cell, one to check the modes, and the, not the last one to check the environment. I mean, you know, the temperature inside the battery. And um, of course, this shows uh, circle one means it's uh, just a finish one circle. Here, you can check the second battery information. Okay, so for the second one, the, uh, the RMC is a uh, Six eight point thirty point three five ampere, so it's a, a, around six to six percent of SOC. The first one, sorry, the first one is ninety three percent of SOC. The second one is is six six percent, and the third one is also six 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 percent. Six eight six means you know uh, it's a when the when the battery go up. Uh, Living the factory is normally recharged to sixty six percent, and here you can totally check ten batteries. 
currently we have only three, but in the screen you can turn, you, you, you can take 10, uh, check 10 batteries, but totally we can uh, put 15 uh, battery in parallel, but unfortunately um, the, the memory is not so big and we can put 10 in the screen only, but normally uh, maximum capacity is 15 batteries. And here you can click in, so it shows each battery, for, uh, for example, the, the 16 cell. So for each cell was the voltage, you can check all, all of the details. And as I mentioned before, there's totally six temperature sensor. This one, two, three, four, checking the battery cell. And this checking the modes, which inside of BMS. And this is the environment. And here you can check all of the three battery information. And here, sighting, this is a very important, you know. Normally we can uh, use different brand of, um, of inverters. For example, Pylon, Goodway, Gravat, Victron, SMA. We, uh, the year, Lex Power, Sofa, Solis, Must, and uh, Sorotech, extra, extra. There are totally 16 uh, inverters uh, we support in the king. And in for uh, RS four eight five, we have around less than ten brand. So totally, we support around twenty inverters. But of course, with the with the upgrading of the of the of the BMS, we can support more uh, inverters. And if you have the protocol of Yao inverter, you can send to us. We can update for you. So to make sure that this battery can support your inverter. And. For example, if we choose robot, we check click setting, yes, and then here it goes robot. It depends on which brand you're you you're, you're working with. Currently, we are working with the Yi. So here, normally we go the Yi setting, yes, and the four eight five we also go to the Yi setting, yes. Make sure okay, both of them are the year. Okay, and this screen is uh, with magnet, you can click so it cannot move. Okay, you can do uh, uh, you can do like this way, and also you can use the battery in your vertical. And this one can you know, it's very flexible, you can, you can put uh, where everywhere you, you want. But it's very those works. Okay, so then we check, we can open the, uh, turn on the motor. Need quite a long time. When this signal go to normal, it means, you know, it can Output the electricity. Let me wait around two minutes. Okay, after two minutes, the inverter shows normal. And in this screen, you can see the SOC of the battery. Click in the voltage SOC, which is similar. Exactly the same to here. To here, okay. Mm, the voltage, uh, the current, the small current, okay. And here, so when I open, oh, here I you know, already contained with the load. Here, when I open it, 
equal to 2,000, 2,200 watts. And here, you can see 2.38 kilowatt. So this is output. And uh, here is the, uh, the sound that comes from the, the load, not from the motor. The motor is quite fast. So here it shows uh, the, the, the voltage, the, the power, and which, ah, okay. Here it shows the current. So 50 by 50 is around 200, 2,300, uh, 2,500. Uh, 2, this is the output from the battery. And here is the uh, load, you know, there are some uh, waste of, uh, of, of the current, uh, of the energy. Input 2500, output 2370. And here we didn't go to, uh, we didn't put input. Normally you can, if you put some uh, you know, grid where you just go here and it shows, uh, shows the, you know, what kind of power come from the grid and which power will come from the battery. And here we didn't contact with the PV also. If you connect with the PV, you know, some energy come from PV can go to battery, uh, some go to load. So now currently it's just from battery to load. These two we didn't contact. Okay, so here is the, the load, it's quite hard now. Okay, so this is um, the way to, sh to show how our battery compared with the air in water. And uh, later on, we'll show different uh, brands of inverters, how it kind of works with our battery. Okay, click that. So here it shows the output current also, 38. The load are not very stable, so it can, if it's too hot, it can it, it reduce the current to 20. If it's uh, you know, temperature is very low, it go to 40. Okay, thank you everyone.